thank you, thank you very much. I, I, I'm going to try to keep this very brief. Uh, I have two pieces of news for you. I have have some good news, and I have closer. I have some good news, and I have some bad news. So first, with the good news, we always like to start off on a good note. The good news is that next year we're going to be resurfacing. Uh, the, the, the asphalt on Bloor Street so that cyclists and motorists alike have a smoother ride on the street so that those, those potholes, those, those, those inner tube, uh, the, the, those, uh, the, 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 the rim breakers, that's what I was looking for, the rim breakers that we have all along Bloor are going to get all smoothed out and that's really good news. But the bad news, and you can ring your bells for that, but the bad news is that our council has made a decision, and made a decision last year, not to proceed with an environmental assessment that would look at improving the safety of bike in infrastructure along Bloor. And that is very, very bad news for cyclists. What, what we've seen, and the local councillors fought to try, to try to make sure that that EA would continue, but, the, but, but what we found is that the administration, and the mayor's administration, cares more about about taglines and, and fictional election promises than about than about actual facts because they've also decided to take out pieces of cycling infrastructure across our city not only in the downtown but also in the suburbs and that's a shame because brothers and sisters our friends that live out in Etobicoke, Scarborough and North York aren't going to have the good safe cycling infrastructure that that we have a little bit of downtown and that we're trying to grow and expand downtown. And despite the fact that the, the lanes on Jarvis, on Birchmount, and on Pharmacy weren't slowing down traffic, they removed them. Or they're about to remove the one on Jarvis. And my friends, that's a shame. But I'm going to go back to a piece of good news. And that's because with groups like this and organizations like this and Cycling Toronto and, and the, the community that has been forming around the removal of lanes, and forming around, yes, the addition of some separated lanes in this city, we hope. The community that's forming around that is gaining a stronger voice. And that means we can have a greater say in decision making at City Hall. And that's really exciting. And we need to continue that and have that to grow. Not only downtown, so talking to your friends, but talk to your colleagues at work that live in Etobicoke, in North York, in Scarborough, in Malvern, in Rexdale. Talk to them and get them joining on the movement, get them contacting their councillors, get them organizing to elect city councillors that respect the safety and the health of cyclists rather than just the movement of cars on our road. And friends, together we can build a city council, council that will have more respect for cyclists and we can get more good cycling infrastructure in our city. Thank you. Yeah. Woo.